Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour with the AAR mod. Uh, right now we're 1919, and uh, the, uh, the situation with our money is not too well. Uh, right now I want to boost that up, uh, if I can and when I can, so I can act actually manage to use it. Now, if you guys recall, I was kind of complaining about the trades. Um, some of the trades being slightly unfair in some aspects and look at that I'm receiving some sp wow, I'm receiving money huh anyway uh that's kind of interesting and I'm receiving money from Persia too huh. anyway um the reason I can't cancel trade agreements is because you gotta have money to do that so it's that uh, it cost 10 duck was it what are they called ducats I forgot what they call it this in the in the uh, Hearts of Iron series. I don't. Know. I'm not sure if it's ducats or if it's pounds. I think it might be pounds at this point. I know in the uh, Europe Universalis it guides to ducats. I think it's pounds. Um. Anyway, uh, brain fart there for a moment. So yeah, I uh, want to try to reorganize some of the things right now. And yeah, I, I've received some comments about that I should start industrializing, and I will as soon as I kindly get some money. Uh, because uh, no country can refuse money in this game; they really can't refuse money. So that's always nice to nice to know. So look at that. Now I'm getting gaining some money. Now I can start cancel some trade agreements if need be. Let's see, I'm trying to find some pointless ones. Okay, ooh, I'm getting energy. And metal. Hmm, nice. How many I'm getting? 17, I'm getting 8. If I remember, I'm not sure how, I forgot the, how the math works when it comes to, uh, Ooh, look at that. Look at Russia go. Damn. I support Russia. <laughs> I totally support them. Go Russia. <laughs> Regain your prestige. This should be interesting if Russia wins. If they actually manage to win against the Soviets. That'll be uh, an interesting twist on what might happen if World War II ever happens. If that ever made sense. Okay, so... The Hungarian Soviet Republic has had Romania declare war. Huh. And it came in Hajjad. Oh. Hajjad. Okay. So the so these two are gonna go at it and then probably try to uh, uh, unite, maybe to become Saudi Arabia. I think. But I think they also need a Jabal Shamal to uh, do it. Now, Romania, what are they doing? Until 1920. Had Romania declare war. So the Hungarian Soviet Republic has fallen. Well, it's not like they've even risen out of the ashes. It's like they're, they're, they've been stuck with the partisans for quite a while. Now. So I can ask for military access later. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's work on some doctrines here, if we can. 9 1924. That's a little ways out. Uh, I guess I'll start on the infantry. 1921. Now, I probably should actually wait off on that so I can actually w uh, have it catch up. But uh, you know what? I think I might be a good idea at this point. Anyway, um, logistics, cav. Probably work on the cab right now, maybe. Let's see. 1930s. Accounting machine. 1928. A little ways away. I'll work on the cipher. Alright, so cipher. Do that. Okay, so the cipher machine uh, will help. Um, as you can see, surprise chance naval units, air units, okay, and army detections uh, chance them. 10%, minus 10%, okay. Um, what else? Is there anything nearby I can work on? Not 
to like C. Okay, we'll work on that. I probably should work, maybe work on some aircraft. Alright, so I'm getting some good money. It looks like the Russians might be losing this. I saw one of their territories get taken. Yeah. It was it was inevitable for Russia to fall, because they're not in real good good position to uh, do anything about any anyway. Turkey stands at war with the Soviets, and you think that would help? Not too much, because Russia is not allied with them. So, ooh, ooh. was that Fashi D was it Combatimitur? I can't really see that right there. Um, it's like. Anyway, on March 23rd, Benito Mussolini, an ex-socialist and pro-war activist, founded a movement called the Fasci di Combattimento. Oh man, my Italian is off. At first, it was a left-wing movement. Its militants asked for radical social reforms and a republican constitution. But there were also fierce nationalists in full hatred for the socialist. So yay, nationalists increased by... 5%. Thank you, event, for doing that for me. I feel so appreciated. Uh, anyway, so the fascists have, uh, have been created. Yay, me. Oh boy. The assault on the headquarters. Oh boy, the fascists were responsible for the first episode of Civil War and post war Italy. In fact, they provoked a clash with the socialist parade, which ended with the burning of the headquarters. A a Levante. I actually, I was actually watching a a documentary not uh, not too long ago of a fascist um, fascism in Italy. I was quite intrigued about some of the things uh, that was going on there. I mean, granted, they were very militant, like, and um, that's not surprising. But um, well. What was interesting was that a lot of the Jewish population in Italy were fascist because at that time fascism really didn't uh, see any racial um, or religious lines. They just saw the, they were just strong nationalist. Period. They didn't really care about what you know if you're Jewish or not. Anyway, peace in our time, the diplomatic philosophy behind it, the league. Okay, so we're doing this again, huh? Hey. There's something terribly wrong with how the league works. So it's pretty much the same event that we um, screwed, <laughs> we gave China 20%. Now we're going to give, uh, looks like we're going to give um, United Kingdom 20% for the grants at this point. <laughs> oh, sorry, UK. But at least my dis I think my descent actually goes went up. I'm not sure. Look like it did. Anyway, that sucks. Let's see. You know what? I probably could wait on that. All right, I think that'd be enough. I just I don't want my guys to disband either. Okay, so I'm gonna actually try to work on my descent at this point because uh, high descent's gonna suck. It doesn't really help on the uh, industries. So try to get that down as I can. Oh boy. During the peace negotiations, Orlando and his uh, foreign minister, uh, Sidney San uh, Sanino, uh, weren't able to gain nor fume. Uh, neither the Dalmatian, um, yeah, the, D the Dalmatian provinces. So Fr uh, Francisco Nitti was nominated the new prime minister of the kingdom. Yay! So we got a new prime minister. And who is this prime minister? He's a left-wing radical. Oh boy! Consumer goods needed minus fifteen percent. Money production goes down by thirty percent. And the cent growth rate increases by 5%. Yay. That's what I always wanted. Hey. 
That is just fucking wonderful. Hey. See, it doesn't really matter at this point. Money, but I mean, right now, I'm still decreasing at about the same rate as I would. It's just less consumer goods are needed to do so. Oh, uh, we line out parties, and concluded a deal with them, remained alive at the first. Okay, so the. Okay, so. Uh, uh, Benito Russo. The two, ye two red years mark a two year period between 1919 and 1920 of intense so social conflict in Italy. Uh, Benito Russo took place in the two years uh, following the First World War in a context of economic crisis, high unemployment, and political instability. Uh, sounds like the current situation we're living now. Uh, it was characterized by mass strikes, worker many <laughs> manifestations, as well as the self-management experiments through land and factory occupations. In Turin and Milan, Workers' councils were formed and many factory occupations took place under the leadership of anarcho syndicalist Oh, anarcho syndicalist Oh, how we missed you so much. Uh, agitations also extended to the agricultural areas of the Badam Plain and were uh, accompanied by peasant strikes, rural unrest, and guerrilla between left-wing and right-wing militants. Oh joy, look at the increase of revolt risk and national dissent. I so I'm at twenty percent twenty eight percent. You assholes. Hi. One can never catch a break in this situation. Oh joy, we got a new foreign minister now. Oh boy, Vitero. I ain't gonna pronounce that one. <sighs> Who are you? You're a left wing radical. You're fired. Hey, uh, it's not like I can really fire you because everybody else is pretty much damn same. Well, not like I really care. Who's the foreign minister? Not too much, anyway. Anyway, right, let's, uh, let's see here. Uh, don't care too much there. Increases his IC by 5%. Okay, so he's pretty much the only... He, yeah, he's the real good one. By 5. He's pretty much the same right here. Raw material production, yeah. Uh, Minister of Security. Manpower growth, money production, and at least that would increase. That's probably something I probably should use. Hey, consumer goods needed minus 10%. That would be like, um, what? <laughs> that would be, what, 25% decrease in consumer goods needed? That would be interesting. But it's tempting because of the manpower growth there, too. And for my... I don't like I really have much in the use of foreign manpower, anyway. I guess I'll hold off on that. He's a 10% decrease. What is he? He's a market liberal. He's a market liberal and he does a 10% decrease in customer goods while the uh, other one was a left wing. Uh, whatever. Uh, 4.2. 4 yay. I uh, know that kind of really decreased. That really increased my descent because I changed ministers like that. So, but whatever. Okay, let's see, what do I have? I'm giving rare resources out, don't want that. At this point, uh, I'm not gonna give you all that Albania, geez. Crazy. All right, now I gotta look to the US. Hey, United States. How, how are ya? Thank you for screwing me over out of all the territories that I could have gotten from Austria, Hungary. Um, okay, let's see. What do I need? I need rare. Wow, I really need rare materials at this point. That is not a good sight. Okay, let's see. What can he give me? 
uh, 2.7 I need more than that figure the United States would be some place to go alright Soviets oh yeah Soviets I'm probably gonna have to look forward to uh, looks like Russia's gonna fall poor Russia I had high hopes for him too oh well alright offer trade agreement give me all that and I'll give you I'll give you 6.1 money I love it money goes a long way look at that folks for 100% I can give them 1.5 money for 16 rare materials you can't go wrong with that love it money is very valuable in this game <laughs> I wonder how, how long that trade's gonna uh, go for though ah, look at that 11 <laughs> awesome awesome indeed my daily money goes down though because of how much I gave out how much I'm actually giving out All right, I think at this point it's gonna come to an end hey okay So who else am I trading with at the, right now? How much money am I giving you? Ah, uh, I'll cancel that agreement actually. As a matter of fact. Alright, so wow. My apparently my energy cost is going high. Oh, because I'm giving you energy too. Or no. Yeah I am. No, I'm just giving you supplies, never mind. Oh I'm giving you the Hmm. No, you don't need energy anyway. Let's see. But I will actually do this for you. Actually, how much money am I giving out? 1.2? Okay. So my supplies at least are going up again. I'll cancel the agreement soon. Alright, at least I can do that. Alright, so not much activity was going on around here. Uh, I guess I'll uh, show you guys the map. Oop, Germany is still dealing with some partisans. Lithuania is just doing nothing. Of course. What's going on down here? You guys at peace yet? Yes, you guys are. Since. Okay, um, okay so you guys have been at peace for a little while. That's not a bad thing. Of course, they still have territorial claims on the Ottoman Empire. Yep, yep, they still have claim on all that. Nice. And Chab <laughs> and Chab's on. Ooh, Chab's on. Uh, such a legendary uh, province there. Alright, um... Alright, so it looks like China's done dealing with their partisans. Very nice, okay. Alright, so I'm, at this point it's 1920. United States should be heading into a depression soon. If they haven't already, uh, Soviets had a red terror. Okay, so Russia is still doing. Ugh. I feel sorry for Russia. Hmm. All right, so I got got quite a bit. Not even bad. So I'll cancel that agreement so I can at least have my money back. Uh, twenty-three point five. Hey, how much can I decrease it so I at least still get it set? Or decrease. That'll decrease my money quite a bit. I still need my tech teams. Oh, and tech teams. I forgot about you guys. Um, do, 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 do. Let's see. Let's before I end the video. I'm gonna see what I can work with for them. Let's actually do some. I guess we can do some bombers. Okay, let's do that. I'll do that for you. And then I guess look at some air doctrines. Get that all researched because we're kind of behind on that. Mm. Excuse me. Okay, there we go. You guys work on that. Alright, now. 
so that that's still enough to decrease my national descent, which is great. Awesome. All right, so that uh, should be enough. I'm trying to make sure. Okay, cool. Hopefully it's not too little too late, but yeah. All right, so do that. Uh, I'll do that, and I'll do that. And those three provinces here. All right, and that's 15. Okay, so these guys, so these factories will be done in three years. Wow, three years. Okay, so it's every three years for those. Shit. That is quite, that is a little bit far. Hmm. So okay, damn. Should be interesting then. It takes three years to build a factory in this game. Damn. I actually remember you only took a full year to do it. it takes three years. Jeez. Anyway, um. Yeah. Uh, that is. Uh, I'll call a video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know there wasn't too much uh, action going on here. Uh, Hungary is still occupied by uh, partisans, sadly. Oh, and looks like a part of Poland is two, two parts of Poland, three parts of Poland. Poor Poland. And Poland is still dealing with the Soviets, and they're not doing too bad either uh, for what what it is. What's going on? Anyway. Anyway, uh, that'll be it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video while we head into 1920. See what the 20s are like. See you then.